Hey Scott here. I just wanted to show you a video today about a lawnmower, a Toro lawnmower. It came with a Briggs and Stratton engine with an auto choke function. That's lawnmower uh, I was asked to take a look at. It hadn't been running in several years. I took the carburetor off. I cleaned it. Uh, gave it a new air filter, a new spark plug and whatnot. But that's not what this video is about. This video today is just about the auto choke system and the linkage uh, so that if you ever come across an engine like this, a Briggs and Stratton engine, uh, that has this uh, um, auto choke system it's not that difficult to figure out check out my video and see how it all is set up so today I want to share with you a little bit about this Briggs and Strength engine that is on the Toro uh, recycler 22 inch this is a personal pace there's a lot of these out there this one is a uh, a unit that, that you do not need to uh, prime it or choke it because it has an automatic choke So I'm gonna open this up and show you how all that works including what the linkage looks like All right, so we got the lawnmower up on the table here and the first thing we do is take this cover off just a couple of Phillips head screws And then this cover will just lift off like so. Next thing I want to do is take the gas tank off here. That would be this part here. That is, we're going to be using a 5 16th socket. And there's three bolts. One, two, and three. These bolts are kind of unique. They're shoulder bolts. So we've got a little shoulder on them so you can't mix them up with some of the other bolts on the machine now there's a fuel line down here that you want to be careful of as you just slowly tip this back and then we're going to go over here to the oiled fill side and show you another uh, another bolt that needs to come off over there Okay, so there's another 5 16th bolt right there that you want to take off. Again, it's a shoulder bolt. And then all you have to do here is to grab this whole thing and, and pull up. And you'll see it's going to come out of the hole down there. There you go. And there's an O-ring at the bottom. Make sure that's there when you put it back. So now I'm going to take um, the air filter off. Air filter also has a 5 16 There you go. And then I'm going to take this off. There's three bolts, 5 16 one two and there's one up here in this corner and as you take this off just pull it straight off and there's a rubber tube here breather tube that will that goes onto this Nipple sticking up here. Now, when you also when you put this back on, there's a gasket right there. Make sure that that gasket is in good shape. Replace it if you need to. And now we're looking at the carburetor. But to show you more of what's going on with the uh, auto choke system, I'm going to take this whole cover off. We have two bolts on the front, three eighths here, three eighths there, and then we also have. Two bolts down there one on the back here and one back down there okay. 
I wanted to point out that the bolts that came out of the front are longer than the bolts that came out of the back. So, short bolts in back. Now this whole thing should lift right off. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at this choke system. All right, so how this automatic choke system works, it's all based on the heat from the muffler. We've got the muffler here, and then we got this mechanism here. As the muffler warms up, this is going to, like a thermometer, is going to move forward. When it does, it's pushing on this mechanism. So let's go on the other side and see what that does. Take a look at the carburetor. So when it's cold, butterfly is closed, that's choke. As the muffler warms up, pushes this mechanism forward, that's going to open that up, and the choke is now no longer on. We do have one spring here that pulls this whole mechanism back into place. Now I also want to take that off and show you the linkage right on the carburetor. So this bolt on top here is a quarter inch. And this thing is bolted right to the carburetor. Right there. So if you ever get a replacement carburetor for this engine, make sure it's got that um, bolt for the automatic choke system because... There are carburetors are very, very similar, but they don't have that. All right, so looking at the linkage here, this is the spring that goes to the throttle on the carburetor. And then the governor linkage comes from under the flywheel here, and it will pull on this. So that's all there is to it. So to increase the RPMs or decrease the RPMs, you just bend this tab forward or backwards accordingly. So that is automatic choke system on this Briggs. Let's see the uh, model number. There you go, 126T02. Now, if you have this apart and you want to put it back together, just make sure that this side goes back in the screw for the carburetor and make sure that this is sitting together with that. So I'll tighten that back up. And look, it came apart. All right. Oh, see that that spring is missing, and all this hubbub. That spring came off. That's why it's not bouncing back. So now I gotta find that spring. All right, so in all that uh, work I've done, that spring came off and I see it's down here. There's the spring I was missing. So that's gotta go on this little metal tab here and on this plastic tab here. There we are, back in place. Make sure that this is where it needs to be and everything is moving freely. 
So now we get to put it all back together and fire it up.